Good afternoon, welcome to BCHL Central. I'm your host, Tally Camp from Prospera Center of the 2013 Bowers Showcase. On today's show, I talked to Bill Best, the head coach and general manager of Victoria Grizzlies. Our roving reporter, Nick Bowers, has got interviews on the field. That and so much more, you're currently watching BCHL Central. I'm now joined with Victoria Grizz's head coach and general manager, Bill Beswick. Uh, we're talking about the showcase. You guys just won in overtime, but the first game yesterday, two winnings picked Ticton. How do you think your boys played? I thought we competed real well. Uh, for the majority of the game, I thought that we were uh, right there, step for step. A real big, you know, a real nice tempo. Both teams, I think, are respectful of uh, the game and one another, and I thought it was highly entertaining. Uh, yes, this game, sorry, passed the overtime winner, Roy McGuire. How would you guys play this game? Uh, I thought we were a little bit looser, a little, you know, a little uh, not quite so tight before the game. I think our guys were a little nervous yesterday. I don't think we're quite as nervous today, but really proud of our team's uh, heart and soul to come back from a 3-1 deficit. And then this past week, you named Mark McClellan your captain. Why Mark? Well, he was selected by his teammates and his uh, and his peers. And whenever you're selected by your teammates, uh, it's a huge honor to lead a team and. Uh, so we gave them the opportunity to select their captains, and I think they did a great job, probably who we would have selected. And your expectation for the season? Well, um, like everybody's, uh, get as far as you can in the playoffs. Uh, give yourself a chance to win every night, be competitive, but certainly to succeed in the playoffs. When you were hired by the Victoria Grizzlies, I think your first thing was to get those triplets. Why? Well, they're three of the best players in the league. Um, they're entertaining. They love the game. They make people around them better. Uh, they, they bring an element to the game that not a lot of players have the ability to do. And when you have all three of them on fire, uh, which is more often than not, uh, it's, it's a huge asset. And, you know, I had them in Nanaimo, and uh, it was my first order of business was to try to get the Fitzgeralds back, and we did. And, the rest is history, but uh, we wouldn't be where we are today if we didn't have them. All right, great. Thanks, Bill. We're going to pass things down to Nick Bazer, who's talking to Josh Bryan, the assistant captain of the Vernon Vipers. All right, Josh, last year with the Nanaimo, you participated in the Western Canada Cup. Now this year, after you're traded to the Vernon Vipers, you guys are hosting the RBC Cup. How do you feel about being able to play in two big tournaments back-to-back -back seasons? I feel uh, pretty lucky, pretty blessed. Like someone someone wants me to win a championship, so uh, I couldn't be more excited to be playing in Vernon. This year I had a good run with Nanaimo, but uh, I'm really excited to start the season, especially with a win here, and I want to get uh, want to get to the RBC the right way. I don't want to sneak in the back door and maybe get a championship in my last year. How do you feel about your chemistry on the ice so far? I mean, you're one of the older guys, one of the vets on the blue line. How's that been going for you, fitting into the Vernon Vipers organization and their system? I already feel like part of the family right away. They, uh, they welcomed me in right away. All the guys are really, really close. One of the closest teams I've ever been on. So uh, well, things are going really well. The 20-year-olds are really showing the younger guys how to do it, and they're all uh, following suit really well. And how do you feel, of course, at the showcase? You guys got your first win against the Surrey Eagles, uh, reigning and defending BCHL champions. No, it feels good. Yeah, they had an awesome team last year. They obviously went all the way to the uh, to PEI there, so it's good to get a win against them. Uh, but I think we're the team to beat this year, so I think people are going to want to be a uh, gun in for us. Thank you so much, Josh. Thanks a lot. Great, thank you, Nick. Today's games, uh, first two games, sorry, are wrapped up now. Victoria, of course, beating Salmon Arm in overtime 5-4. to four. Roy McGuire scoring the overtime winner. And earlier today, the secondary arena, 11.30 this morning. Vernon beat Surrey 7-3. to three. A lot different than what happened last night when Surrey uh, got a shutout. Right now, Nick Bazarin's down talking to Peter Schaefer, the head coach of the Surrey Eagles. Peter. What do you think so far about uh, your chances of making it back to the RBC Cup? Last year you guys had a great season. Of course you guys lost a ton of players, only six returning players. Uh, how do you think your chances are going to weigh on you guys this year? Well, I'm really happy with uh, the progress and the, and the off-season uh, guys we got and, and the preseason. We had a strong preseason. Uh, you know, I thought we had a good showing at, uh, at the showcase here, one and one. And, uh, you know, we're going to have a young team, but uh, I'm confident that we're going to uh, compete and have a strong team in our division and then see what happens in the whole league. But, um, you know, it's a long season and uh, there's lots of changes and, and kids learning uh, systems. So uh, we're excited here as a staff for uh, the guys we got. And do you find you feel any pressure taking over a team that, as we just mentioned, was an RBC Cup finalist? 
No, I mean it's it's our job as uh, staff to uh, you know bring success, uh, winning records, and more importantly, move kids on to college. So I mean, if you do that, then you're going to have to find new players to fill uh, fill roles and fill spots to the guys that left to go to college. So that's part of uh, part of the business of junior hockey. So I'm excited to uh, to see what we can do here. And do you find it on? Another level off the ice, advice-wise, are you able to help out players with their choices they want to make? I mean, you yourself are a former NHLer, and you made it to the, the pinnacle of hockey. Are you able to help a lot of players off the ice with the knowledge you have and your experience? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, it's important to, to have fun. I think it's, it's a game, and uh, it's not such a business uh, at this level yet, but uh, the next level up, uh, you know, the college, uh, you know, Europe or uh, even the NHL, if, if guys make it, it, it becomes a business. So I think we try and still have a lot of fun and teach the kids through, uh, through having fun, and, uh, you know, that's one thing that, uh, that we install here in, in Surrey, and, uh, you know, I think uh, it's important that kids have fun. Thank you so much, Coach. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you for watching BCHL Central live from the Prospera Center here at the Bauer Showcase. For show number two later on tonight, keep it right here locked to vsbn.ca. Follow us on Twitter at BCHL Central. See you guys later.